affirm and persist, affirm and persist, affirm and persist, 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 persist. You hear manifestation coaches saying this all the time, all the live long day. But what does it actually mean? The thought of it is quite obvious, but if you actually look up persistence in a dictionary, this is what it says. Persistence. Firm or obstinate continuance in a course of action in spite of difficulty or opposition. So it actually is meaning to keep going through the hardships. And even Neville Goddard says this, you will know that this world is imaginal and that an assumption with no external object to support its truth will harden into fact when its truth is persisted in. With no external object to support its truth. So we affirm and we affirm without seeing anything to support that what we are imagining, what we are affirming for is even true. We have no evidence. And despite any hardships that come up, we keep affirming anyway, over and over and over. We persist through it all. I see a lot of people talking about affirming through tears oh i affirmed through the tears and it still came to fruition anyway and that's exactly possible because that's exactly what it's saying keep going no matter what but i want to talk about not affirming through the tears instead of affirming as a train just going straight through the problem i think it's easier and more beneficial if we work around the problem if we see the problem recognize it remember who we are, change its course, and affirm this way instead. It's like we're not really trying to break down those walls of resistance. We're not just trying to push through the resistance and keep going. We need to recognize that we are in control and we don't have to experience resistance unless we say we are experiencing resistance. And that is the point of pivoting and turning the direction around it and continuing to persist while allowing the unwanted to be here and saying, as God, this is not what I choose. I choose this and this is what I'm going to go towards. And then you don't feel like you need to be affirming through tears. You, you probably won't even need to be crying anymore because you're not reacting to the 3D or any of these circumstances, you're realizing who you are, that you're in power, you're in control, and you don't have to just let anything happen to you anymore. The world is not happening against you, it is happening for you. And once you start to realize that, you can really take control and affirming and persisting becomes such a natural thing that it doesn't, ha- it doesn't have to be hard, is, is what I'm trying to say. This type of thing does not have to be hard. It doesn't have to be a struggle. Nothing has to be a struggle. Everything is only a struggle because you assume it is a struggle. So then there's the whole concept of, I'm persisting, but I'm just not seeing movement. And, God, I see this comment. It, it, it drives me insane because, like, do you even believe in manifestation? Law of assumption? Because if you believed in law of assumption, you wouldn't sit here and say that you don't see no movement because you would know that what you speak into existence is what exists in your reality. Ask me for advice all you want, but don't ask me for advice and say, I'm doing this, but there's no movement. I'm doing everything right, but I don't see movement. Let me tell you, you can listen to countless testimonial stories of people who are affirming for something. There is always movement. From the very first time you say the word, there is movement. Just because you can't see it does not mean that the other person is not feeling it. That does not mean that things are immediately working to get money to you, to get your specific person to you. The moment you say it, it is is in existence. The moment you speak it, it is set in stone. It's impossible to fail if you persist. Affirm and persist. Speak, think your desire, and keep speaking and thinking your desire, even when you don't see movement, even when things appear the opposite. Persist, persist, persist. 
until it hardens into fact because it's it's on its way baby <laughs> it is on its way i think what the problem is right now is we are so conditioned and we're so used to getting things immediately as soon as we want it we want to see results it's the instant gratification that we're getting from social media for example but think about think about people who want to go viral or even don't even desire going viral but they post one tiktok and the algorithm on tiktok is so amazing how it can work in anyone's favor because one one thing can just go viral but what if you're posting consistently and you're trying to go viral on tiktok you're posting consistently every single day you keep going and going and going but you keep getting one like on each video and you're not really seeing progress but what if I told you that if you were to post every single day for six months that there is a 100% chance that you will go viral on TikTok? What if I told you that as a solid fact, set in stone, impossible to fail, would you keep posting every single day or would you post a little bit and then give up and then post a little bit and then give up? Or would you know, hey, if I just keep posting I will go viral it's the same thing with affirming don't give up don't stop if you just keep on going with it that wish fulfilled will go viral in your reality you will experience it it's your only job it is the only thing you have to do is to keep going that is the easiest job in the world all I have to do is just keep doing what I'm doing no way repetition dissolves disbelief your beliefs now your assumptions right now are just repetitive thoughts from any time frame leading up to now if you keep repeating your new thoughts or affirming instead those old thoughts have to dissipate they have to go somewhere else and it's replacing your old beliefs with new beliefs but you just have to keep going you have to keep filling your cup it's like a glass of mud and you keep dropping in each affirmation you're dropping in a clean clear drop of water that mud is going to slowly rise to the surface and start spilling out those are the old dirty beliefs but we keep putting in those fresh new beliefs and eventually that water that cup your cup will be clear your new thoughts will displace your old thoughts and your new thoughts will become your belief and your beliefs are your assumptions and your assumptions create your reality. You've just got to get rid of that old conditioning and everything you've experienced up until now. And it does sometimes take time. It doesn't have to, but sometimes it does. And it's not even that it's really taking time. Things do not take time. They take awareness. But sometimes it takes time to build that awareness and reflect. Let's go back real quick to what I was talking about doing the pivot around your negative circumstances. The reason that I think this is so important is because we're not changing our 3D. We're never changing our 3D. All realities exist with all versions of you. We're choosing the one that we want to experience and we're literally quantum jumping into that version of ourself. It sounds complicated, but it is as simple as an affirmation. It's as simple from being in the state, the unwanted state of I'm poor and quantum jumping to the wanted state of I'm wealthy just by stating I am wealthy. Oh, I am poor. I have no money. I am wealthy. I have tons of money. I have more than enough. It's as simple as just changing the way you speak to yourself. Now you're in that new state. If you're still sitting there and recognizing every time a bill comes up, oh, I'm poor, I have no money, I can't afford this, but you're trying to like manipulate the 3D circumstances while still thinking in that state, Neville Goddard talks about this as well. He says it simply as you cannot serve two masters. You can't be in two states at the same time. Persisting as if you're trying to change something is just reaffirming to yourself that you're not in control at all. When what we need to be doing is reminding ourselves, I'm God, I'm in control, and I don't choose that, I choose wealth. Stop trying to manipulate conditions. God doesn't manipulate, he controls. He doesn't need to manipulate 
a creation that is already finished. Every outcome exists already. Your only job is to choose and persist in the one that you want to experience. Unwanted circumstance, I'm single. Wanted circumstance, I'm in a relationship with my SP. So you're sitting here saying, I'm single, my SP doesn't want me. Texting, 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 texting them. That's manipulating the 3D. That's not how you get what you want. Go within, affirm from the state of having it. You're taking control of the situation. You're not manipulating the 3D. You're controlling what 3D you want to experience, what 3D you're going to live in, what state you are living in. And once you just accept that what you're currently experiencing is just old manifested realities, manifested versions of yourself from your old previous thoughts and beliefs, and that you have created thousands, millions of other preferred ones. And all you have to do is just shift into that preferred one. By doing that, you're saying, I am God. I am the law. And the law of assumption will follow suit by bringing that assumption that you are God, because you are, into fruition and letting you continue to control what you experience. You're literally making this harder on yourself by not letting the law work in your favor. By saying that you're not in control and manipulating, you're just saying, I'm not God. The law of assumption doesn't work. So what's the law of assumption going to do? It's going to not work. It's going to not let you be God. It's going to not let you be in control. The word Lord means law. Let that sink in. So the law or the Lord will prove to you that you are the law, Lord, by allowing you to shift your reality to your preferred reality as Lord, as the law. You are the Lord of your reality. You are the law of assumption. Say that with me. I am the law of assumption. Whatever you say goes. Stop saying the things that you don't want to see. Just stop. <laughs> All you got to do is stop. <laughs> All you have to do is say the word, I am, and you will experience it immediately. And through the tears or around the tears, through any circumstances that you don't want to see, through getting a bill that costs more than what your bank account has in it, through your SP saying, leave me alone. No, that's the old me. That is my old thoughts. I'm not thinking that way anymore. When you see things that you don't want to see, especially when you have been doing all the work, you've been doing everything right, you've been affirming, you've been scripting, you've been visualizing every night, and you see something come up that's like, whoa, what do you mean? What do you mean? That's, <laughs> no, not what I wanted to see here. You need to back up, look at the situation and recognize, wait a second, I'm in a triggered state right now, but I'm God. And I'm trying to change my belief. Pivot <laughs> around the problem. See it through a new lens. This is what I want to see instead. Persist forward in new affirmations. You got this. Don't worry. It does not have to be complicated whatsoever. It's very simple. Just keep aligning with who you want to be and keep going. No matter what you see pop up. Just keep going. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave any questions, comments, concerns, success stories all in the comments below. And I will see you guys in a future video.